So today we did a lameness evaluation on Boss here and uh, it's a little sore in both hawks. So localize the lameness to the hawks. We're going to do a very common procedure uh, injecting the hawk. And uh, one joint we're going to inject right here and the other is going to be just on the inside right there. So we're going to prep our sites and then we'll inject with some depo and hyaluronic acid. So right now we're going to do, we're scrubbing uh, with uh, betadine and we're going to put uh, three scrubs on um, and over a period of 15 minutes. The most important thing about scrubbing is the contact time to kill the, the surface bacteria so that when you press your needle through, you don't carry any bacteria into the joint. Typical time to affect is usually about anywhere from five days to a week. Sometimes it takes more, a little bit longer or less time to see an effect, but usually about five days to a week, you're gonna see a response. Especially if you're using steroids like what we're going to use today. Um, if you use a biologic like IRAP or PRP or something like that, it may take a little bit longer to see a uh, true response, but today with uh, Depo, we'll probably see a response pretty quick. Um, I guess for me, a lot of the horses that I deal with, if they're a metabolic type horse, then I'll avoid corticosteroids because you have a higher risk of inducing a laminetic response on a, on a say, a cushionoid or metabolic insulin resistant horse um, you know using a steroid versus a biologic so it's a lot safer to use a biologic in those senses or if a horse is, doesn't uh, doesn't respond to corticosteroids anymore they've got chronic arthritic changes and they're not responding to to, to uh, uh, glucocorticoids anymore then I'll use a biologic such as IRAP or PRP or ProStride all right, so this is just, we've got three good scrubs on there. We're just going to let this set. I'm going to get my, my injection stuff set up and then we'll treat them. So here we got fluid out. Let's see if you get close. So we're in good position. I'll go ahead and hit the other, the other side. Typically, following hot joint injections, I'll give him a day of stall rest, just the total day off, and then next day he'll do some hand walking or turn out, whatever you know the program program is for the horse. And then uh, on the third day, um, just tack walk, nice little tack walk, um, or a second day of hand walking. And then uh, fourth day, get on, move them around a little bit more. Fifth day, they're going into the light work and. You know, usually by one week, they're back into full work. If they, if they require hawk injections or any type of injection sooner than at six months, then you might ought to look into doing something else because you can really do some detriment if you get over aggressive with treatment, intraarticular treatment with steroids. So that's where some of the biologists come into play, um, you know, some other, other types of uh, medical management for the cases.